back, guys. Oh, how you been? Oh, Ooh, juicy. See you later. <laughs> Oh, we're actually getting killed, dudes. Oh, we're to the playing game. games. <laughs> oh, this is a game. Matt K plays? No. So, this is a Wii game. This is a Wii game, yes. Oh, I need to play it. You go ahead and burp. <coughs> oh, that was impressive, oh, man. I think I threw up a little bit. Yeah, I can smell that. That's actually gross. So. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually. I'm actually going to throw up. <laughs> Oh, I could taste that. Uh, I'm not lying, I did throw up a little bit. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Dude, that's disgusting. It's fine, don't worry about it. <sighs> it was the lamb donna. <laughs> it was the lamb donna that did it. What was I going to say? So this is a Wii game. This is a Wii game, yeah. So Wii is on par with what? Like PS2.5. PS2 yeah, I guess it's X. I would always say it was Xbox level because Xbox was like the powerfulest of those three: GameCube, PS2, Xbox. Because it does have like, like enhanced. It's more powerful than the PS2. I, apparently, like, apparently, it's definitely not a 360 or PS3. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's like a PS2.5. Yeah, let's just call it that. Yeah. It's it's somewhere in between. Um, I just like the fact that when you um, um, when you shoot zombies. You can like see them go through the ground in this game. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just, they're not sorry about it. Like, yeah, no, 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 know. no. This game, I told you right at the beginning. This game was like made on a budget. They knew exactly the kind of game they were making. What, ex like exactly the kind of game, like the people would play this. Because you haven't played any of the other previous House of the Deads, have you? Mm, arcades. Butlin. Well, exactly. The, the arcade versions. Right. And... If you're gonna go back on and watch those games, they look awful, dude. Like. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is as bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking at what I'm looking at? I mean, this is trash. This is complete trash. Um, honestly, like, they they didn't, they, they sort of used that game, the original arcade games, as their basis. Um, and then they didn't really improve on it. Like, Sega were like, look, this is a game on the Wii. Like, I don't know why, you know what, I don't know why it was released on the Wii. It's like one of the only games that has an 18 plus rating. Because it has the gimmick of shooting with the Wii remote. Probably, but then they re-released it on PlayStation with the PlayStation Move. So, oh, Jesus Christ. Which everyone bought, obviously. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, but um, this game was made in the country we're currently playing it in. By... You liar. No, you can look it up. Headstrong really? Games. Headstrong oh, Games are geez. a division of Sega and they're in like Richmond or something. What else do they make? Richmond! Something like that, mate. What else do they make? Oh, of course, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they re-released it on the PlayStation 3, but I never played it. Apparently it's got, like, better graphics, quote-unquote. I mean, graphics don't mean a lot to me. If the game's fun, then that's the end of it. I don't know if you actually know. The game's not even fun. <laughs> we haven't been talking this about is, this game this, a lot. It, and it shows. <laughs> that's how bad it is. I'm not yeah. talking about anything else apart from this fucking game. Absolutely. Jesus, this is bad. I mean, maybe you'll enjoy it more when you Some listen. games are timeless. You can play PS1 games that are... Standard test of time. <laughs> this, I, as soon as I started playing it, I'm like, I hope to never play this again. Have you Not even in an arcade environment. This, okay, it says private, but it's all pixelated. <laughs> Have you never played this before? At oh my, house? my! We used to play this a lot when we were God, I hope not. No, no, no. So we used to play this game all the time. Why? Um, well, we were shooting zombies, dude. We were. We were like Left for Dead. Now that's a game that stands the test of time a little uh, bit. It's I haven't played it recently, to be honest. It's it's okay. Okay. Have you played it recently? Mm, not in a few moons. It's a Capcom game, right? Uh, Valve. Oh, is it really? It's a Valve game. Oh, okay. Well, I actually really like that game. All right. Uh, Left for Dead One and Two. Left for Left for Dead One's pretty good. Did you play Dead Space? I played a little bit of it. I played. People had a big erection for that game. Yeah, they really did. Um, I played the first one, and then I played the Wii exclusive like side game called Extinction, which was actually all right. Like it was okay. It was like an on-rail shooter like this. Oh god. No, no, it was actually all right. I mean. Oh god. Ugh. Can we agree on anything? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just not this game. <laughs> 
So I got a little story for you guys. Oh god. Yeah. Um, it's about me and the missus. We got... Oh. Well... <laughs> Thank god I'm not involved in this fucking story for once. Yeah, this is a um, droolist story. Oh, best kind of story. <laughs> Nobody don't... wants to filth, to be honest. <laughs> you do yourself a disservice, Drew. Hey, People I like know. stories about me. Yeah. No one else does. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> So the other day, my, my girlfriend, she lives in the countryside and, you know, me and Drew are from the city, so um, Drew famously once said that um, the most nature he ever sees in London is like the occasional tree. Yeah! <laughs> Why they play some like 20 we... metres apart? Behold! A tree! <laughs> the wild tree. In the real country they have these running free. Mm-hmm. Mm. So in the, whenever I get a chance to go to the countryside, I always try and make it, you know, worth my while and do something you can't do in London, for instance. Um, so we went to a forest. We went to a forest in the middle of nowhere, um, and it was very beautiful. But when we approached the front gate, the staff of the charity that like looks after the, like they're called the National Trust. For those in England, you'll know who that is. But um, so yeah, so we went to the forest, and at the front gate there was these members of staff. Ooh. There was these members of staff who were like stopping you from coming in. You had to like pre-book to go for a walk in the forest. And you know, Drew, how much do you think is fair to ask as a donation to the charity for you to go for a walk in the, in the park? Four pounds. Four pounds is a bit steep, but um, they you'd even be lower than what they were asking. They were asking eight pounds eight on pounds. the gate. And so my girlfriend turns to me and she's like, yeah, no, nah, we're, uh, we're not gonna do that. So she drives around onto the other side of the forest. Cause this is like, you know, it's a forest, so there are fences all around it, but you can just climb the fences, right? So we're thinking, okay, we'll, we'll, we're going to get into the forest no matter what. So we go around to the other side, she parks a car, and we actually see a bunch of other cars who have obviously all had the same idea, right? Because no one's going in the front gate because you have to pay to go in the front gate. And it's really difficult to park because there's so many parked cars in this area. So we get out of the car, and uh, there's a gate, and we're thinking, oh, we're going to have to jump that because it's going to be locked. No, we opened the gate. It was pure open. Like, you could just, just push it open. Just open. It was just completely open. There was no signs shit. about pandemic or, or, you know, the, 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 the plague or anything about, like, donations or any stuff, like, warnings or anything. There's nothing about that. So we just went into the forest. So we're thinking, okay, we've already broken the law <laughs> or, or the rules or whatever the fuck. Um, Drew, could you point at the screen, please? <laughs> Don't worry, dude, I'm on it. <laughs> Just because it's a little bit difficult to shoot this, that guy. shoot this tentacle monster. Where's um, his weakness? In in his arm this time, actually. What? Yeah, it's a real change of pace. Oh, crazy. <laughs> so anyway, we, we head into the forest and we're trying to look for a lake. Because my Canadian friends will know this. Um, whilst I was in Canada, we spent a lot of time by lakes. I mean, in Canada, you could fucking trip over lakes. Nothing but lakes. They're all over the place. They're around every corner. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Um... But I wanted to, you know, prove my Canadian friends. I was getting Snapchats and stuff from Canadian people. And they were like, oh, you don't, you guys don't really have lakes in, in the UK, huh? And I was like, hey, hold on a second. Hold the phone. And I was determined to find a lake and take a photo. So we went to the lake. But as we got to, like, on the route that was um, on the way to the lake, uh, our phones, like, ran out of data. And they also ran out of signal. So we got lost. <laughs> So I, brought, I bring up maps on my phone and I'm thinking like, oh, you know, it might not work because we haven't got any data. But actually it turns out if you use Google Maps, little little tip for you, the compass will still work. Even if you haven't got signal or data. Mm. So we knew that like, if, uh, if you're looking at a map and you can see where north is, you can actually find out like where the lake is, right? So we just headed on, we got lost for a bit, but we found the lake, had a nice little like sit down, took some cute pics for the gram. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and then we were like, okay, so the safest way to come back, get back to the car, is the way we came. Mm. Now, Drew here will attest to this. When you're exploring, as a man, <laughs> let me mansplain as, something for you guys. Man. You never go back the way you came. Because you're right, you're the man, you know the directions. Of course. So you know the you way. You don't need a map. You don't need a map, you don't need Google Maps or anything. I'm bad grills. Um, so anyway, so we thought, you know, I, I was being adamant. I was like, look, I know the way <laughs> I got this. I got this right. 
Bearing in mind, you know, us in the UK... You don't got this. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I, we'll, we'll get to that. So, we come to a compromise. Lucy's like, well, we should really walk the way that we came, just most of the way, so that we get, like, predominantly, like, you know, somewhere close to our car. Because we've been walking for a good 50 minutes away from our car, so we could be in any direction, and our maps aren't working. Anywhere. So... We get to a like a four ways, like a cross in the world, and we haven't seen anybody for ages, right? It's not dark or anything, it's still light, but it's it has begun spitting. So it's begun raining. Um, you know. We're thinking about shelter now. Yeah, we're thinking about Your bear grill's instincts are kicking in. <laughs> what do I need to do to live? We're not just thinking about shelter, we're thinking about food, we're thinking about um, the fact Reproduction. Reproduction, we're thinking about um, the fact that one of us needs to poop. You know, like thinking about me, I'm thinking about Drew, and and how more, how much longer do I have to go without him? But we're completely lost. We're getting mad at each other, starting arguing. Ugh, you furious. know, like I'm like, no, I know the way, and she's like, no, it's definitely this way. It's definitely Ooh. this way, and I'm like, no, you're wrong. Blah blah blah. Um, so she's like, right, I got this. We're gonna walk through the forest because the wooded area goes parallel with the path that we took to get into the hey, forest. That makes too much sense. What did you do, Matt? Well, Drew, this is what I thought. I thought. That makes sense. But I also thought, we're going to die. <laughs> yeah, so we're walking point. through the forest. And at first, there was like a little man-made path. But after a while, that path dissipated. And there was no longer any clear way to go. Like, we're walking through Bramble now. We're walking uh, like over sticks and fucking like huge trunks. And at one point, I saw an adder. Like, we don't have snakes in the UK, but we have adders. So we have adders. small snakes, grass snakes. Oh, no. And I was like, this is it, we're dead. Like, this is it. We've now become, like, feral human beings. We have to become, like, one with nature. <laughs> wow, Charles. What did you do, man? Were you thinking, what am I going to eat? I know what. What did you think? Was you eyeing up the adders? Well, we passed some cows on the way, so I know what I was going to eat. What the fuck? <laughs> well, a big discussion. Mm. How would you kill the cow? You can fashion if a shank out of a shank, sticks. and you you would fashion a shank. You, Matthew, would fashion a shank, <laughs> a weapon of destruction. I nearly spat, spat my beer all over the recording stuff. You was gonna fashion a weapon of murder. <laughs> you was gonna take a life. With this hey, weapon. hold on, it's survival, man. Uh, you was you was there. I was in that mode. You was there. I was in that mode where it's like life oh, or death. That's, that's fair enough. Oh, you're in a dark place, isn't you? Yeah. This, Civilians, cows. This let's play has become very dark. Oh, I can't believe it. You seem on edge, Matthew. Anyway, so um, we're lost in the forest. Drew, can oh. you please turn to the left, please, so that I can shoot some zombies. I'm Thank you. Right. Um, yeah, so we're walking down this forest and we see we see a fence. And we're like, okay, that's it. That's where we've got to go. Because our car's got to be on the other side of it, right? So we step over the fence. We have to actually jump this one. Because this isn't one of those that like, willy-nilly, just open it up. No one gives a shit. And it's the wrong way. <laughs> like, we don't know where we are. Oh, no. It almost looks like somewhere that we've passed. But because we're coming at it from a different perspective, the problem with going back the way you came is... Um, it looks different from, from behind, right? You're coming at it from a different perspective. So it doesn't look the same, even if you are on the same patch. Do you know what I mean, Drew? Mm. So anyway, um, we still lo we go back into the forest because it's like, well, that's all we know now, right? Like, <laughs> killing cows is what we do. Killing it's become cows, part of I our lives. <laughs> thinking about it, but why would you want to stab it? <laughs> so you was there. I, I want to be there. I want to feel what you felt. <laughs> Pay me a picture. Okay. You're eyeing up this cow. Say you imagine you forged this, this shank that you was gonna take a life. Mm-hmm. Where was you gonna you was gonna stab it? Right in you the was, snout. The snout? <laughs> you evil man! You yeah. was gonna you was gonna put your shank in its snout. Right in the flipper. Wait. What the fuck? I'm not thinking of the That's right That's evil. Animal. <laughs> That's not survival. That's just evil. No, Drew, you know what? I don't think I could kill an animal. I could. <laughs> no popping circumstance. <laughs> yeah, give me a shank right now. I'd do it. Oh, circumstance? Yeah, all right. Let's make the video. You're right. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Um... No, Drew, come on. You couldn't kill an animal. 
Come it on. It really depends. In survival mode, maybe. It depends what animal. True, actually, that's a good I, point. I would struggle to kill a chicken. What? No, they're like the stupidest no, 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 animals. No, 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 they're in, no, no, they're no, no. in like, they're in abundance. There's so many of those. Oh, that's horrible. You can't say that. Same with humans. No, don't even fucking yes. bring me to that place. Did you just fucking? There's seven billion humans. I don't want to do that to humans. No, it? but there's a lot of dumb humans. <laughs> That's for sure. All right. Well, okay. Your logic is infallible because there are loads of humans. I wouldn't kill them. No, chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Edit it out. <laughs> Court cases. Yeah. No. Um. No, I don't know. Like in survival mode. You would. I have this conversation with Max fairly often. It's like, we've already got our plan for, gonna, for the gonna... zombie apocalypse. Okay. Let me... Let me... Um, Let's talk about elaborate. some zombies, because we're not talking oh, about no. the game no, at all. Is... Okay, so you've just said you couldn't I kill got left. an animal. Yeah. That's true, I wouldn't kill an animal. So, not live unless or die. I was in. So, if I was on, say, Castaway, I, I'm stranded on an island... There were some pigs, blah blah blah. Yeah. I needed to kill something to to, to eat and live. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. The cow's dead. <laughs> it is. The cow's dead. Just nature. So you you would struck. You would think about. It. You'd be like, okay, I don't know if I can kill this pig to eat. I feel like that could get dark pretty quick <laughs> because after a couple of days of not eating, you're not like okay. I'm just gonna eat the pig. No, you're gonna be like, I haven't eaten for a fucking week. Have you actually seen? I'm that? gonna eat Dave. <laughs> I don't care about the fucking pig. The pig's not here. Where's the pig? <laughs> I'm not gonna spend five minutes to find the pig. No. Dave is here though, <laughs> and I'm fucking hungry. I will die if I don't. Seven eat days Dave. a human doesn't eat the dead. Mm -hmm. I'm not waiting five minutes to see if fucking Porky turns up. <laughs> Dave is here though. He's looking juicy. Just like fucking Porky Pig, like abba da bit, abba da bit, abba da bit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, so, I mean I'm with you. Part I'm of just the way. saying that's that's a dark place. If you're, I mean, Drew, you once said that you could eat eight meals a day if your body allowed you to. Oh, I fucking would. <laughs> I would. Like you have no qualms with that shit. Like I, I struggle to eat three meals a day. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, three meals is easy. That's the that's the minimum. I feel like they just did the slow motion to hide the bad graphics. Probably. I feel like it's just it's dropping in FPS. That's it. <laughs> um, no, me and Max have this conversation quite a lot. Like we've already planned fully our zombie evacuation plan. Okay. Like end of the world. Okay. Times. So, if you found out about like Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaun of the Dead. Like me and you are. Great. Film. So far, looking at the TV. <laughs> Destroy the Double brain. Black. And remove the head or something like remove that. Remove the head, destroy the brain. Something yeah, like that. Something like that, anyway. Yeah. So... And we're sitting here making You and Max day. are sitting on the sofa. Yeah. Okay. This is real. It's on the news. Mm -hmm. Remove the head, destroy the brain. Blunt objects. Go. <laughs> well, the thing What's is... What's your plan? Uh, well, no. First off, right off the bat, you do not want to carry a gun. Because... Okay, sorry. I need to interrupt you because we need to shoot this guy immediately. Where's his weakness? In his fucking belly. <gasps> well, there you go. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, this guy too. Ah, oh, we fucked that up. Oh, so well. Yeah, they just like explode. Cool. And they hurt us when they explode. So. Anyway, so no, you do not want to be carrying guns because look, realistically, guys, where is ammunition? <laughs> like. Well, let's be honest. In England. Ammunition Where's is the guns. Exactly. Like oh, yeah, ammunition, guns. even in Amer like in America, you might be alright. But in the UK, you're not gonna find any ammunition or guns, so it's over. <laughs> like it's it's all over now. Yeah. So basically, right. So what you want to do is you want to fashion a weapon out of a baseball bat or a cricket Shank. bat. No, you want to like put nails, rusty nails. Oh, we got to shoot the birds. <laughs> Um, you want to put some rusty nails into a baseball bat, cricket bat, any kind of wooden, like, implement. If you've got a sword lying around, like hey, my Glenn. friend Max over here, like, uh, he, has a wooden he actually, sword. he actually sleeps with a sword. Um, that just... sounds sharp. <laughs> well, yeah, ask his missus. That's what he does. Oi, <laughs> <Hey>. motherfucker. <laughs> I will. 
Yeah, please do. I will. Um, no, but you don't want to be carrying around guns because number one, you won't find ammunition. They're heavy and they're too much of a burden. Plus, if you get like robbed, everybody's gonna want guns. Like they're yeah. in high commodity. They're like rare and like it's not the best thing to have. I'd like a spear. It's not a bad weapon, honestly. You gotta be pretty accurate with it though. No, it's all good. Keep your distance. Like the Greeks are polite. <laughs> I'm not on the offense, I'm on the defense. <laughs> Stab them from afar. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill a pig. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Honestly. Just... No. Ooh, You've yeah, been really good. Be at... <laughs> You've been really good at like saving civilians I'm, recently. I'm saving it. <laughs> oh god, it's one of the exploding guys. Show you later. They're throwing a lot more shit at us now, huh? Fuck them. Yeah. The game's getting a lot more hard. Oh god, what the fuck is that? Okay, so talking about killing animals. Yeah. So there is a scenario where you'd kill a pig, an animal, to eat it. Look, I've I've already right off the bat already said like when we brought up this tangent in survival mode, I think you go into a different state mm. of being. So clearly, me sitting here being like, oh, I wouldn't shoot a pig. It's probably gonna change if I'm. So I haven't eaten for four days. We'll find a boss dude. Shoot his hand. Eat him. <laughs> <laughs> no, we no, I wouldn't do it, man. I genuinely wouldn't. I don't think you it's You really wouldn't. No, like fuck that. Like I don't I don't even eat like lamb and beef. I do. Yeah, I know you do. You literally <laughs> just had a, a lamb donner just now. I it did. <laughs> it's on the floor. <laughs> um Okay. So you you wouldn't eat it. That's that's fair. Yeah. That's, that's pretty human. Um, <laughs> you're losing your mind. Yeah, no, that's right. I am. Your soul. I am. Yeah, yeah. All of those things. Everything. Mhm. Mm um, your morals are starting to be in question. Mhm. Mm are you just talking about like right now, this second, or because I'm out of the anecdote now? <laughs> <laughs> they. I'm probably not day two. Day five. Drew, you're gonna have to continue this anecdote next time on Matt K plays. When we eat humans. <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> okay, come back next time. We won't eat humans. When we see you later. <laughs> Every time. Every time.